I love watching football around people. It's so funny when you get people around you and everybody's asking what's going to happen and you can kind of say these are the things that's going to happen and you're looking at guys like Dak Prescott and watching his face and just saying, that, oh, my God, can Dak Prescott lead the Dallas Cowboys on a game-winning field goal? Yeah, he can. He can do it. What's going to happen? Is Amari Cooper going to show up? And then everybody start talking. You know how to go, Jay, when you're around all mm-hmm. the different people and everybody get excited about it. And it's like, yeah! <laughs> you know, it was just like one of those deals, man. It was crazy, crazy, crazy last night but watching the, that game. There were a lot of oh, big, my God. I couldn't hear it, but it was good. big things that happened, like a lot of big questions answered. How was Dak going to look coming off of injury? Tom Brady, would father time ever catch up to him? What's could the Dallas offensive line get the running game going? Could well could could the Dallas defense stand up to you know before we get to the decision to kick a field goal and now Brady gets the ball back with over a minute left in the game? Key, what was your biggest takeaway last night? I guess it, I guess it would be Max that that Dak. It's, it's, for me, it was all about Dak Prescott because as far as Tom Brady goes and Gronkowski and some of the other guys that played well in the game, I wasn't worried about them. I was just worried about a guy who had been off for eleven months, didn't necessarily have any preseason. Even though I said many times over over the last month or so uh, during the training camp and preseason that Dak Prescott did not need to have any preseason to still be sharp because he was getting the work. Uh, taking care of and getting it done in training camp. And you can clearly see that. I know a lot of people was worried, oh, his shoulder. But the whole time, the Dallas Cowboys and their training staff and in, in the, in the head coach, as, long, as well as Jerry Jones, continue to say, we're not worried about Dak. But then when you get a chance to see him live and in person, on television, that was one of those deals you say, I wonder how he's going to play. And then all of a sudden, a couple scrambles, zipping the ball a few times. It was like, oh, okay, I got what I wanted. That first, when 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 the Bucks punted and the ball got like on the two-yard line for Dallas and Dak had that first pass attempt, it, I was like, oh, okay. Like considering the Bucks front seven, like I we, we talked about this yesterday, Max. I knew that Ezekiel Elliott would probably have less carries in this ball game. Only had 11 last night. But Mike McCarthy obviously placed the game in the hands of Dak Prescott. 58 pass attempts. 58 pass attempts, Key. And Evan Wilner, our producer, I give him credit. He's been talking about it for the last couple of weeks. And I know I picked Josh Allen at the beginning of the year, Key, to be my MVP. But if Dak plays like that, <laughs> I might be jumping on the Dak Prescott MVP train. I'm telling you, well, man. That, you, that was special you, last you, night. You talked, about, you talked about Dak's and his injury. We talked about it better yet. Being able to see him have the confidence to scramble, slide, move around in the pocket, pull the ball down, run out of bounds, use his head where a year, two years ago, that wasn't the case, getting out of bounds and doing mm-hmm. those sort of things because he didn't protect himself like he protected himself last night. But that, that for me, Max, though, was really just zooming in on so him. So let me that ask you really, this, Key. Because you knew, about, you knew about everything else, right? I mean, you had to know that the right side of the offensive line, Jay Max, wasn't going to be up to par. I also thought that they would get more pressure from a defensive standpoint, but they clearly well, didn't. That was the That's why he threw That's the difference in the game. Time, yeah. One defense was able to get pressure, and, and if you give Tom Brady all day to throw and he has those receivers, good luck. But let me ask you this. A lot of people saying that's the best Dak Prescott's ever looked. Key, you just said he's doing things now to protect himself that he didn't do a couple of years ago. Is this, all things considered, the best you've seen Dak look? You know, I, I'm, I'm not going to do the, 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 the <laughs> he looked good because he showed up last night after 11 months and this is the best he's ever looked because that's not factually true, right? It's just not, Max. And I understand people see something that they haven't seen in a very long time and they start screaming and hollering, oh, this is, I've never seen him this way. I'm sure I can go back into the archives and watch games and say, well, I'm Prescott sure, but what really I'm saying good. is there is a maturity that comes. You just pointed one thing out. Well, yeah, but that's true, but you didn't say maturity, right? And that maturity came because he would he he got rid of this Superman mm-hmm. cape, so to speak, based on the injury. And I think the injury was against the Giants, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so he got rid of that injury. And, and so now, all of a sudden, he feels like, okay, I've got to now protect myself to a whole nother level 
So now I have to play mature, much like you mentioned, get my little tail out of bounds. I got to slide down. I can't try to run over guys and do those things. So he looked different as Jay, far as me, that Let me goes. rephrase it for you then. Considering what he just said mm-hmm. and considering how good he did look, if you had a football team and you're looking for a quarterback, is this version of Dak Prescott the one you would want versus the Dak Prescott pre-injury, considering the maturity? Easily. I mean, that's not even a question, Max. I mean, just watching, watching the way he led last night, and, and I give Mike McCarthy a lot of credit here. Because obviously he put Doc in that situation. They trust the secondary for the Bucks. I mean, they had issues. Jordan Whitehead was out. Okay, he had that hamstring issue. You talk about Sean Murphy button dislocated that elbow, which was nasty, by the way. Key, I don't know if you saw that, but that was. And then Mike Edwards. I mean, he had issues too. So I mean, they they were able to pick on people here and there. And Dak Prescott just constantly went through his pro- progressions. And even though they didn't have Zach Martin, even though McGovern was there, there was still there was constant pressure on him. So for him to step up in the pocket, to see it from the weak side constantly, I, I, was, I was blown away. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.